Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to use these are air freshener cans. How to make a stove pipe. Let all the air out. I just take a punch and punch that out. See where it's punched out? That falls down the side. Hear it rattling in there. Okay, we're going to show you how I do this. I'll show a shot of that. See where them slots are cut? Those are anywhere from a quarter inch to a half inch. And we'll show you a piece of that also. Okay, before you stick it together, you will do this. Do that round, get on camera. So if you get that to go in there, you've got it wallered out pretty good. That's what I call it. Call it wallered. Okay, I don't know if this will show up real close. Where you're going to cut this at is just where these cans taper down, cut it right there. Don't go way down in this groove. Bring it up just where it tapers. Cut the top off. The bottom, you might want to use a piece of paper. I do it freehanded. Just where it's this diameter. Cut it before it drops down in there because you want this to be as big as it can be. I'm looking through the screen. I think it shows up good enough. Okay, so you want this to be as big as it can be. This would be your bottom. See where it's flared out now? If you want that as big as it can be, here's the top. This is going to be the top line, so I cut this back like I would on the bottom. So it's as big as it can be on the top. So your very top pipe, and you can mark it with a marker, it's marked here with a sharpie. You want to go all the way there. I know the light's terrible in here, but you want it to be as big as it can be. You get the idea of what I mean. Okay, we're going to cut the top off of one. Uh, we won't do it on camera. We will show what we use. Rotary tool. These are little diamond blades. Uh, they're about $5. I don't know where all you can find them at. You five in a pack. I may take a picture of that. I do have some that came those kits that had holes in them. These are better. You get five of them. I'm sure I'll use one of them for a long time. But we'll go ahead and we'll cut the top off a can and we'll put the slots in it. We'll show you what that looks like. Okay, to make this easier, I leave the bottom on while I do this. So I cut about a half inch back. I bent in about a quarter of an inch. This is wallowed out good. I alternate the seams. See how this seams on that side, this seams on that side. Alternator, keep it close. Wear a pair of gloves. You're going to need another pair of gloves. Get it on the desk. And you'll start playing with it. And you can also roll it around like this to keep it straight. I just use two rivets. One quarter inch long, eight, one eight inch diameter. And if you look down in there when you put the rivet on, Make sure you're going to grab one of those tabs. You might be able to see the one off to the left there. And if you're picky, you can always reach in there with a stick and bend those tabs back out, which I will probably do. But we'll shove this together, then we'll cut the bottom off. Stay tuned because at the end I'll have a blooper where I was showing where I was cutting with the rotary tool and the can rolled off the table. So I'll put that at the very end for a blooper. I hardly ever have any bloopers. I used to throw them away. I need to start saving them just to make a video of it. Stuff falls, stuff don't work. I'm going to try to do that this coming year. Save my bloopers, make a blooper. Uh, I'll edit out the ones with the cussing, though. Kind of went quiet there on that one. Anyway, back to work. We'll get this together. These were painted, so I'm kind of using them to my advantage. So you can see about how far that is. See where the paint is? I got the light coming in my window. See where the paint is? You can see they're on there that far. They're on there about like that. Said, so look down in there. Go to the very edge possible. That's what I like about a nice ribbon. I'm just going to use two. That way you can kind of keep it straight either way. Uh, you can put as many as you want. I'm just going to use two of them. OK? 
Okay, back to work. So this is not a long video. Okay, we want to show this up close. I might have been off a little bit. You can mark where your tabs are with your marker before you put it together. You will end up with a little dimple. Use the sharpest bit you have. We did go through both though. Use the sharpest bit you have. Yeah, I use a cordless drill. You will still get a dimple. You have to put some pressure on it. But it's just a stove pipe. That's good enough. And I think I snapped a picture of when this was bent over with those on there. I'm sure I did. Okay, we're almost done. Okay, I want to show this. If you have trouble drilling through this, you can put this in the vise. Find a piece of pipe that on there so you don't make it so dented. I had to stop, put a pipe in there, couldn't tap it back down. It's just a stove pipe. So if you mark where there's a tab on the ceramic, you get lucky there. So you can get through both of them. Okay, self-explanatory. If you put this device, it works pretty nice. Long piece of pipe, just about three foot, so it'll go all the way through the pipe. So. Okay, all we have to do is make an adapter for the bottom so it fits the stove. We have to kind of adapt that a little bit. And we'll have a picture of that. That's going to be whatever you make out of cans, whatever it takes to make it fit. Because this is a little too small. We want it to go over, not inside. So, thanks for watching. Can keep filming. No time to edit. You get the idea. Thought I'd just throw a clip of that. That was funny. Hand fell. Blooper.